Yuba Sutter honors the service of military veterans in the annual parade. But first, a news update. I'm Laura Vandermeer, and here's your ADTV webcast for Monday, November 12th, 2012. We learned this afternoon that a Yuba City man who was run over by a vehicle in a parking lot last month has died. 35-year-old Miguel Andrade had been at ride out with head injury since he was run over in the Live Oak Apartments parking lot on the evening of October 30th. Megan Vasquez, who police described as Andrade's girlfriend, was driving the Hyundai Sonata that ran over him. The witness report said the couple was arguing before the accident. Yuba City Police determined the incident was an accident and the report forwarded to the Sutter County District Attorney's Office. Rideout officials were not specific about when Andrade died, though a car wash to raise money for his funeral was underway this morning near the intersection of Bridge and Gray Streets in Yuba City. Flag formation members from the 9th Reconnaissance Wing at Beale Air Force Base were among those marching in the Veterans Day Parade yesterday in Marysville. Parade watchers lined up along D Street and waved flags as the various bands and vehicles rolled by. Among the attendees was 91-year-old Art Rada from Sutter, who survived the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor more than 70 years ago. We have a slideshow on our website of the parade. And in Sunday's paper, we profiled Austin and Mary Webb, a Yuba City couple who served in the U.S. Air Force during the Vietnam War. They met in 1965 while stationed at Westover Air Force Base in Massachusetts and then came to Beale Air Force Base after the war. She was stationed in Saigon, Tonsonut Air Force Base, and I was stationed in Bentui Air Base near Kanto, an Army Base. And it wasn't too difficult for me being separated from my wife because I was in charge of the flight line and can fly up to Saigon uh, just about every week to see her. And you can read their story from reporter Ryan McCarthy on AppealDemocrat.com. Just look on our local news page. Recology Yuba Sutter is getting ready to expand a program to take food scraps from both restaurants and residential customers and mix them with yard waste to eventually make compost. Right now, only Sam's Club, Walmart, and Dancing Tomato Cafe are taking part in the program, which stemmed from a pilot program that wrapped up earlier this year. Dancing Tomato Cafe owner Shar Katz talks about the benefits to her restaurant. First, it's a feel-good benefit of doing our business better um, for the world, for all of that. Um, there are cost benefits as well, reducing the amount of trash being hauled, reduce our trash hauling costs. We've reduced the amount of trash to down to about 20% that's going out. The rest is recycled papers, plastics, um, metals, and then this uh, food scrap component that is getting diverted. I think this is a, a wonderful way to close the loop for recycling as well as getting this, um, the, the organics, the food scraps, into a compost facility so that it can get back into the fields and replenish. Recology officials said finding a better use for food waste will constitute a major portion of diverted waste in upcoming years for cities and counties. Pick up a copy of the AD tomorrow to read that story from reporter Ben Vandermeer. Also in local food news, social media is helping farmers connect with their customers. This is video of Jim Muck from Jim's Produce in Wheatland. His recent engagement with customers was asking them online if they like mushy or firm persimmons better. Wayne Bishop of Bishop's Pumpkin Farm is also using social media to help his business grow. Check out the entire story on AppealDemocrat.com. The Sutter County Sheriff's Department is still investigating a violent incident on Saturday evening at the Tierra Buena Sikh Temple in Yuba City, but has yet to arrest or charge anyone in connection with the melee. Sheriff's Deputy Adrian Perez said nobody was killed in the incident in which two groups of Sikhs were in an argument that apparently turned violent. Some temple members believed the incident stemmed from a disagreement over canceled elections for the temple's leadership council. We'll continue to update on that story as details become available. That's your ADTV webcast for Monday, November 12th, 2012. For updates on these stories and more, go to AppealDemocrat.com or pick up a copy of the AD, your Yuba Center news leader, at your favorite newsstand.